Because Java is so widely used by software developers, there's already a Java development kit, usually called the JDK, available for download by any developer on Oracle's website. Oracle is the company that owns Java, and their development kit includes two main tools. One, the Java runtime environment, and two, a Java compiler called Java C. The Java runtime environment includes the code behind all the variable types and functions that Java has built in, like the println function. The runtime environment also includes a Java virtual machine, which is basically a downloadable machine that allows Java code to run on any computer, whether it's a Windows, a Mac, or another platform. And lots of computers already have the runtime environment installed because it's needed to run any Java applications that appear on web pages. But to develop our own programs and Java apps, we need a second tool, the Java compiler. A compiler is a special type of program. It translates code written in a particular programming language, like Java, into a form that a computer can actually understand and run. Computers at their most basic level only react to electronic signals, and so seeing code like a print line statement doesn't mean much to them. The code developers write has to be translated into machine code, which is usually a series of zeros and ones that our computer circuitry can respond to. And a compiler is the first step in translating our Java code into machine code. For example, the main compiler for Java is called Java C, and its job is to read the Java code that we write and translate it into a different, more compact code called bytecode. And here's the whole translation pipeline. Any Java code you write, like this hello world print line statement, will get compiled into bytecode by our Java compiler, Java C. And then this bytecode gets passed to the Java virtual machine, which does the final translation step and translates this into machine code. And this is the code that your computer understands. So then you see the execution of your code on your computer screen, this print output. But you might be wondering why the compiler doesn't translate your Java code to machine code straight away. Why is there this extra virtual machine translation step? Well, the Java virtual machine is one of the coolest things about Java because it works differently depending on the type of operating system it's on. So if it's on Windows, Mac, or even a mobile device, all these platforms need slightly different machine code to work and the virtual machine will translate bytecode into the correct machine code for any platform it's on. So Java programs can run on any device. And again, the Java development kit contains both this virtual machine and a Java compiler, Java C. So next you'll see how to download and install this kit so that you'll have all you need to start programming on your own computer.